Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Kay. I am kind of tired. What did I do today? Okay, earlier I made a video, but I was like, you know what? I prefer, you know, making videos on my computer. Not so much shakiness. I'm trying to hold it up right with the, with the cell phone and whatnot. I had makeup on before. <clears throat> I just came out the shower. Smelling nice and fresh. Also, I wanted to share with... Oh, man. I wish... I don't know where it is. Oh. I went to the pharmacy earlier and the grocery store, and I mainly forgot what I was going there for. I wanted to buy baby formula, as well as, um... I'm distracted. Oh, uh, what else? Oh, colon cleanser. The pill form. Because, I mean, I'm going to take the powder, but oh my god. So anyway, went to the grocery store as well. Tip, do not go to the grocery store hungry. I'm sure everyone knows this tip by now, but just in case. Because you end up picking up stuff you really don't want to pick up. So, I kind of od today. Um, in the other video, I had stated that about two days ago, my stomach was bloated. And... Mostly because I'm probably not drinking enough water to, you know, help things flow, if you know what I'm saying. So, a few days ago, I was 281.2, so I was like, oh, okay, oh no, 281.6. Then, uh, today, I weighed in at 282.8, so that's over a pound. And I know where that pound is mainly, you know, it's in my gut. So, I'm going to have to force myself to take this really gross colon cleanser, but it's fine. And, you know, like I told you guys that I wanted to weigh in with you weekly. So, that really isn't much of a change. Last week, I was 282.6. So, not really <laughs> a positive change. So, um, I went to pick up my prescription. I have a hydrogenitis superativa, and that is... A skin condition that you pretty much you get reoccurring boils you know so whoever follows me you know the deal I've said this in other videos and it's crazy because I didn't know about all of these you know different things I can take I've just been dealing with it and it's it's just really super painful so um yeah last time I was there you know my doctor didn't offer to give me anything uh I don't know why um, maybe because I didn't ask for anything weird but um they didn't even suggest anything so when i went last time i was like can y'all give me something you know so they gave me a gel a topical called clindamycin uh i'm supposed to put this on my affected area daily for three months and i also take a pill in the last video you'll see what pill i take i take once a day so for people who are sufferers out there you know just now you know there's something you can take but anyway, I digress. So, I got donuts, I got chocolate, I got cheese doodles. <laughs> and I got something else that's something I wouldn't normally get. But I didn't eat anything, and I was like, I want something sweet. Unfortunately, I wish the donuts that were in a box of 12, they came in smaller boxes. Because, like, I'm like, I'm not going to be, what I do when I get junk food, I hide it, you know, so it's out of my, out of my sight, out of my mind. So I had two donuts today, and I bought two chocolate bars, and I had half of one. Well, it's not a bar. I had a Kit Kat, and I had two two Kit Kats. So later on, I know that I'm going to eat some, you know, the chocolate, but I I reached my quota for uh, donuts today. So I'm pretty proud of myself, because usually those box of 12 donuts wouldn't last long. Sometimes I can do four a day i can just eat them out you know that's why i'm one of those you can't catch me shopping at costco because i'm not the kind of person that's gonna be like oh hey you know i'm gonna save it for later no not happening so so what else uh the cheese doodles mainly i gave to my son and i did eat when i got home so i wasn't like stuffing my face so much because you know i made sure i had a large plate like half more than half of salad probably a cup full of whole wheat pasta and about a cup full of the um I still have my tofu my beans and collard greens I didn't get any tofu I, I was in a rush so probably this weekend 
I head to the food co-op and get some soy alternatives, soy meat alternatives and whatnot. What else? Uh, I got a bunch of, I got about six Chobani yogurts, you know. So, I really wanted to make today's win. It's funny because earlier today, I thought it was Thursday. So, I'm thinking to myself, I went on a scale. I was like, oh no, okay. So, I have one more day to at least see if I can get at least a pound off. Then I'm like... Looking at the weather, and I'm like, why is it saying Friday? Why isn't he showing today, which is Thursday? That doesn't make any sense. Why would you show tomorrow? It is Friday. And I pretty much didn't watch my Thursday shows because I thought yesterday was Wednesday. And what you call that? The Braxtons came on, and I saw it, and I'm like, why are they showing? Does it come on Wednesday? Does it come on Thursday? And I, Listen. I completely lost, missed the day. I don't know. I'm just, it's crazy. So, I went to the store. I got these black earrings. I really like them. I think they flow really nicely with my blonde hair. I did go to the store to get some hair color. I was going to put a rinse on top of it. So, if you see me in the next few videos with, like, red hair, I understand that's why. Because lately, I've been thinking about really seriously getting sister locks. And that's a form of dreadlocks for people that are not sure. And blonde changes the consistency of my hair. And so I just really didn't want to continuously, continuously bleach it. But you never know. I might end up with my red hair, but like, alright, cool. And then, you know, I might say, you know what, I'll wait later on in the year to lock my hair. You never know. But as of right now, I won't be re re blonding it. You know, not, a, not not as of this moment. And uh, so the purpose of doing the red was, to me, red and black kind of would flow smoother than platinum hair and black roots, you know. But to make this more about a weight loss video, because I try to keep my channel, I have two channels, and, you know, I had told myself, like, what am I going to do? Is this channel going to be mainly weight loss? Am I going to talk about other things? Because I'm so loving the weight loss community, it's just like... Oh my gosh, you know, it's just like, I feel like talking about other things sometimes, but I just don't want to like stray too much, you know. But other than that, on Monday I have an appointment, so I'm just going to, I can't eat like eight hours, I think, I think eight or twelve. I got a Google. Hopefully, they didn't call me, so i have to find out because I completely, I don't know if she said 12 or 8 hours. So, if you know, let me know. I'm going for an ultrasound. So, and I have to, and then she wants me to drink, I think, an hour. I don't know. I'm not sure. So, I'm going to find all that out. If you know, please let me know because I completely forgot. I'm getting an ultrasound of my abdomen and my pelvis. But other than that, everything's fine. Before you know it, the month is over. It's like, you know. Time is flying. They say, you know, because my, my surgery should be in July. And, you know, they'll say, oh, it'll come fast. I mean, it is time going by, but I wish it could go by a little bit faster. To me, once my surgery comes, then I really don't care. It's just chilling, smooth sailing, and um, still try to do weekly weigh-ins. And then I, I'll probably, once six months comes, I'll probably come to a point where I might just do monthly weigh-ins. But who knows if I can stay away from you guys that long. So, I don't know. Um, my tooth is still acting up. I don't know if it's a cavity or it's a sensitivity. And so, I'm gonna, I've been trying to call my aunt to see if she could watch my son. So, I can go get it checked out. Whatever. Because, you know, dealing with the x-rays and dental work with a kid. It's just like too much, too much drama. So, I am going to... Oh, and behind me... That's one of the latest things that I put up on eBay for sale, size 14 jeans. Uh, right now, I put it to start at $10, but I might lower it. I mean, for the most part, I shop at Torrid. Torrid is expensive to me. $50, $50 for jeans is expensive. So, most of my stuff are like $50. Sometimes I get, get stuff off of clearance. I just shipped out one of the dresses that I was selling. Um, I, I shipped it out today. And I'm waiting for payment for another dress. So I sold two items. And so right now I have a jacket. And um, yeah. So if there's anyone out there watching my videos. That 
need clothing like jeans size like 14 i'm mainly getting rid of 14s maybe some 16s right now i'm a 22 so I'm, of course i'm gonna keep 20s and 18s whatever but i mean i could always buy these things all over you know so it's just like whatever i don't really care i don't want to hold on because i know you know i'm gonna be holding on to size 14 jeans until the end of the year i don't know you know so just pm me if you're interested so, other than that, I hope everyone is well. I am going to get some water because I'm thirsty. I would love to take a nap right now. I don't know. Hmm, what else? Oh, I think I wanted to tell you guys about um eyelashes, um, mascara. I like Maybelline falsies. I have it. I haven't gotten any new makeup from, from the grocery store. I mean, from the pharmacy because, you know, I'm trying to stay clear of things that test on animals or have animal byproducts. So, I try my best. I'm not 100% because when you really look at it, a lot of things test on animals, things you won't think of. Whether it's shampoos or makeup or... Or if it's not the actual product, it's the company. So... I try to stay clear, you know, of certain things. I can't be 100%, but I try. So I haven't bought anything new from the pharmacy. So it's just good to know. So, uh, I think I'm, yeah, like I said, I'm going to have something to drink. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.